All right, and we're live. Hello and welcome everyone to So GPS. <laughs> Today I have a very, very special guest to introduce you to. Uh, her name is Peggy Schreimer, <clears throat> and she is a gut healing expert and a nutritional consultant and I'm sorry, detox consultant and a naturopath. And she's been just, uh, she, she just offers a wealth of knowledge on her channel about how to heal your body from all sorts of maladies and, um, and really help you get to the next level of your health. And I contacted Peggy actually not too long ago, about a month and a half ago. Um, and it was, it was a specific story that's tied with this. Um, so what happened was uh, some of you who are, you know, following me on the regular basis know that I like to travel. And um, I was in Morocco recently and we were out in the desert and there was nowhere that I could find almond milk, right? Or any kind of a dairy substitute, which I don't eat dairy. I haven't for many, many years as I'm allergic to it. I don't think it's good for my health, nor wheat. So as, as luck would have it, all I was able to get my hands on was regular coffee with milk, and also croissants, everyday freshly baked croissants in the desert, <laughs> yeah, which is like super delicious. And uh, so, so what ended up happy, happening is I got, got back home and I wasn't a happy person. All of that just piled up in my body. I was feeling sick. Uh, I had terrible allergies, which I normally don't have. And I literally didn't feel like getting out of bed. I was in pain. I didn't have any energy. I was heavily fatigued. I knew it was because of the bad food choices that I was making when I was traveling. So I started to, uh, I went to my favorite place uh, for, for resources, which is YouTube. <laughs> no. I know, right? Go YouTube. <laughs> and uh, that's when I put, put in uh, allergies, uh, detox, and all of these keywords, and I found Peggy. And her recommendation was to completely get off dairy, eggs, wheat, sugar, and go for the natural healing, which was literally step out of my house and look at the lawn where I had growing uh, liver detox plants, such as the dandelion. So I started, it was, it was so funny, it was like walking around barefoot in the mor every morning, which was great because it feels good right, to put your feet down on the ground, <laughs> picking my, my, um, my dandelion and my neighbors were like, what are you doing? I'm just like, I'm picking up dandelion and then going to get nettles and making my nettle tea. And literally within three days, I felt so much better. My energy came back. I started sleeping better. You know, I wasn't stuffed up. I am a little stuffed up now, but that's because of a cold. I've been just on the plane so much this last month. And uh, so I'm like, I got to get this lady on my channel to share her detox secrets with us, especially in the context of um, healing from traumatic relationships, from, uh, from difficult times from grief, loss, and so on. So she was super gracious and prepared so much great material for us. Uh, and I just can't wait to share it. So Peggy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I'm so excited to be here with you. Thank you so much for reaching out because actually, um, so the gut, the gut feeders, the, my channel is called Gut Feedings and the people who are our tribe is the gut feeders. I get so many questions like, can you do videos about healing from trauma and stuff like that? And this is, although, I have clients who have traumatic experience as well, but this is like not my expert subject. You know, I'm a gut healing expert, detox consultant, and I love like connecting all the levels. So I was so happy when, when my, um, my assistant told me, oh, there's actually a woman reaching out and I think she's cool. So I checked out the videos so and was like, yay, this is great. You know, it's like just vibe with me immediately. So yeah, thank you so much for, for making the first step. Wonderful. I'm super, super thrilled that I did that. So I can't wait to, just as probably everyone else watching, I just can't wait to, uh, to hear from you and, and hear your recommendations. So I understand uh, that food plays a huge role um, in terms of helping us heal and get back into our bodies. A lot of the times, the people who are experiencing trauma, they want to get out of their bodies. We dissociate. We try to go away, you know, in our, in our minds. And um, the, the, the nutrition falls by the wayside, typically, because we're so preoccupied with our emotional healing and the cognitive dissonance going on in the head, right? So, so many of us don't pay attention to that. Also, people lose appetite. 
they don't want to eat. So I'm sure you're familiar with that. So what would you say um, are some of the things that people who are, you know, in the midst, in the grip of traumatic, uh, traumatic experiences, when the feelings are just taking over, what is it that they can do in order to kind of start taking the first steps towards, towards their healing and getting back into, into their bodies? So, I mean, the first thing I really have to say and I have to honor is that you can't heal everything with nutrition. You know, I often, people often take like, oh my God, you know, I'm so happy I found you because finally, you know, I can heal and I do the nutrition thing. I'm like, yeah, but this is just like half of the side, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I also like, I honor your work because it's everything is connected. So whatever we feel, whatever we feel, whatever we experience is also having an effect on our body. So for example, if you experience like a, a high traumatic, um, high traumatic relationship or do, I, for example, I lost my father when I was 14. It was pretty traumatic with yeah. a, to a brain tumor within a year. And uh, he was my only friend. Like I hated my mother and I was like, he was the only person I ever felt like connected to back then. I didn't have any friends in school. They didn't like meditating. I didn't like techno. So it was kind of, I was always like a crazy, a crazy guy. I have a video on that as well. Um, something called like how a weirdo found her place in life but like these kind of experience they have an effect on the health of our body like they lower the immune system they um whenever you feel like stress there is adrenaline rushing through your body which is an emergency hormone which is um the the, the biggest drug our body can produce like really like this is uh, all those other like artificial drugs are nothing against adrenaline the people they, they don't think about it but if you if you are in like a fight and flight situation, this hormone is built to protect your life. So when there's a fire and you live on the third floor, you're going to jump out of that window, even if you have a broken leg, you know, you don't feel the pain. You just, you just get out of it. And um, although this is so powerful, it also comes as a price, uh, at a price, it's hormone, you know, when it's, when it's released in your body. It's just made for like once in a year, you need to run from a tiger, you know? Um, but if you're, if this hormone is like stimulated over and over again, again, um, again because the, the traumatic experience is going to be, it's not just, it's one event. Yes. But then if you, if you don't work on it and you don't like release it, you know, and create a new, a new experience for your brain, also for the brain connections, then it's going to be triggered and triggered again. You know, whenever yeah. you see somebody on the, on the TV or whenever I hear from somebody losing his father or stuff, I would have just been in tears again. Mm -hmm. Or, full of adrenaline. Um, I am, I'm so glad you brought this up because I find that this is such key information and uh, I, I did not realize that it is the most powerful drug that the body manufactures. It is so true. It's when you're overwhelmed by adrenaline, cortisol, right? When you're in that state of fight or flight, it is truly so overwhelming. It like, snaps your body right into this inflammatory state, especially if it becomes chronic. And it can be difficult to come out of it because like you said, it's so over, overpowering. So thank you for mentioning this. And it's totally like people don't realize it's so addictive, you mm -hmm. know, because, because you don't feel the pain, you, do, you have more energy, although your body is actually like living, um, living off adrenaline is basically living off a credit card, which has no like backup. You basically right. pay on a credit card and you pay the tax. You know, you pay so much fees on that backwards because yes. it, it damages your, your blood vessels, highly erosive to the blood. It damages your liver, damages your brain, um, feeds pathogens in the body. So um, some, often people, when they have like anything neurological happen, there's Epstein-Barr, which is a virus, and then shingles, which creates like tingling, which creates a lot of pain in the body. Mm -hmm. And those viruses, they feed off certain foods, yeah, dairy, mm -hmm. one of mm -hmm. them. Um, they also feed off toxic heavy metals in the body, which we often have when people get like these strong, these strong medications against so psychopharmaca antibiotics, one of the main, main issue of antibiotics. So you take the toxins. I know Peggy is in, in, uh, in Panama. So I'm in you're, Panama. You're, you're in the and tropics. I'm sweating and there is like the loud, <laughs> and I turn off the air condition because it would be too loud for the interview. So I'm basically sweating already having this very transparent. You do, you're going through a detox. <laughs> Yeah, that's the great thing about the tropics. You're always detoxing. You know? <laughs> that's right. People have really clean skin. Yeah. And detoxing all the time. So we were talking, yes. So we were talking about mm -hmm. the, the, um, the adrenaline. And right. what I wanted to mention is that viruses, bacteria, they feed off um, foods 
they feed yeah. off toxic heavy metals and and this is the key with the whole hormone discussion they feed off adrenaline oh, so when okay. you have these spikes in the body um people often like I have a lot of women they come to me and then they have like strong pms or other like endometriosis and they say yeah it's my hormones it's my hormones mm -hmm. but actually it's often it's mostly it's not your hormones it's toxic heavy metals in the body it's viruses but in this case from adrenaline when you have a lot of stress a few percentages also feed pathogens like that high is adrenaline levels. They're kind of that is so interesting so the the adrenaline the cortisol the stress chemicals are actually food for the bad guys for the bad bugs which yeah. will take over the body if we don't attend to it properly yes there are, there are a few things like if mm -hmm. no you won't have any uh, like these short, short circuits like um often people who have OC or ocd yeah mm -hmm. obsessive compulsive disorder um they have actually it's not always psychological it's also sometimes there are short circuits in the brain because of toxic heavy metals Mm -hmm. yeah, there are micro pockets in the brain um so no viruses no virus can can be in a healthy body you know it can be there but it's not going to do anything right right it's not going to survive if you don't feed it with toxic heavy metals and nice dairy and eggs and you know gluten mm -hmm. nom, nom, nothing will happen or like excess adrenaline and, and that makes perfect sense because things can only survive as long as they have something to feed on. And by the way, I just want to mention to, to all of you watching that towards the end of the video where Peggy is actually going to share with you a, a checklist that she has made, which summarizes um, a lot of what we're talking about and also give you some tips for self-care and the things you can actually do, actionable items that you can do to get started on, on your healing journey for the body, which is also going to inevitably influence how you're feeling mentally and emotionally because everything's connected. Yeah, so absolutely take your notes if you want to, if you're like super study, but um, as I am often watching YouTube videos, I sometimes wish like, oh, why, do, why can't they write this down? So I actually made like a six page document with nice pictures for you where I, everything we talk about, or everything I share at least, is gonna be like in those pockets, it's gonna be in there, you can download it. That is. In the link we're gonna post on that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that. So, okay. So, so now we know that um, we want to avoid stress as much as possible, but if we're in the throes of stress, right, it, it can be very difficult for somebody going through the traumatic event. So, so what would you say that person like that can do to, um, to get back on their feet? Yes. So, I mean, healing the nervous system and restoring the nervous system is definitely you want to work on. That's mm -hmm. definitely something that's on the on the list. The other thing is supporting the liver and the adrenals right. to to replenish themselves and to detox. Detox is a big one here because, as I mentioned before, like the viruses and bacteria, they feed off those toxins, mm -hmm. and they also you could eat as much healthy supplements and healthy superfoods and stuff, but if you have a lot of toxic heavy metals in your body, you're actually preventing your body can be prevented from absorbing them because you have so much inflammation in the intestine. So it's important to, um, in a gentle way, I'm not talking about liver flushes or anything aggressive with salt or oil or whatever you get like recommended. This is su super aggressive for the, for the body. The best thing, what works for the body is like gentle, gentle, whole healing foods in a, in a slow way. And knowing what you're doing is also helpful, not just like doing everything together, you know, step mm -hmm. by step. So the, ba the baseline of the, of the um, healing program I want to share with you is like be gentle and don't go big. You don't want to go big because you have enough stress in your life. You want to go tiny steps and keep them consistently. Mm -hmm. so, um, before, so th there are actually three areas I would like you to focus on. I would recommend one is that we talked about restoring and healing the nervous system, yeah. Yeah, making sure we, we take care of this, of this damage that is from medication and we take care of the damage from adrenaline and try to reduce this, the inflammation. And second one, supporting the liver and the adrenals to detox mm -hmm. and get their strength back. And the third one, and this is probably something where we interconnect as well, Eva, is um, what I call like tiny self-care habits for massive healing experiences. Oh, I love the sound of that. Great. So, and before, I, we're going to talk about food and stuff and what you can eat and make it like really clear. I'm going to give you exactly what I would like you to eat for breakfast and stuff. Um, but before we're going to go to that, I'd love to just share a little bit about those three self-care habits. Uh, and you let me know what you think, Eva, because you are like 
the expert in that area. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> so one thing, and this is actually something I didn't invent by myself. You know, often when you work with clients, you can just come up with cool stuff and then it works and you keep on like, you know, refining it. I, that might be the same for you. You just, you know, yeah. you need something and then you see like, oh my, this might work. It's, not, it's always like a dance, it's experimental. Absolutely. But this one, um, the, the one that I love to share with you first is actually one that I got from Anthony William, which uh, is me- it's called Medical Medium. You might, heard of, you might have heard of the whole celery juice movement. So if, there, if, you go to the, if you go to the supermarket and there is no celery juice, it's because of Ant- uh, Anthony William, Medical Medium. So he um, started it. He started the movement. Okay. He started, he's amazing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's just like, I worked with clients before Anthony William, before reading yeah. about Anthony Williams, but since I've also included his knowledge, it's mm-hmm. so like the, the, the healing progress that I see with clients is so up, it's amazing. Like it's really, it's so beautiful. And, and by also, the way, the, the celery juice is fantastic for healing. It's amazing, yeah. For, I mean, your nervous system is just, mm-hmm. it's just screaming for happiness. It's so mm-hmm. cooling down. Um, However, um, I have a lot of celery juice videos. I have a whole playlist just about celery juice. Um, however, often what I see with people have a lot of toxicity in their body. And that is the case often for people who have like abusive um, experience, who have a lot of mineral deficiencies, who are really like in a poor, poor health state. Celery juice can be like, can just blow your mind. It can be just overwhelming. Right. Because then you have too much talk. To- it still works. It always does. But... Um, sometimes it's better to go to go um, gentle, more gentle, exactly. and then once your body's recovered, you go more for celery juice, include more and more, mm-hmm. and also get a few um, healing supplements that help you to detox and bind those toxins. Like you know. Celery. I found that in my own uh, healing journey, I remember, I remember the first big chapter was when I was 24 and I was getting just sick very, very rapidly and doctors were trying to prescribe me all sorts of medication. I thought, I'm 24, this is way too soon. And that's when I went on a three-year-long journey of eating raw foods, which has been actually the time when I felt, I think, the most connected to nature and to my body. I felt really good. But, you know, later things have changed a little bit and I incorporated other foods into my, into my body and also high stress situations. You know, sometimes we need more protein and so on and so forth. But I remember in the early days when I was, when I was drinking a lot of uh, celery juice, um, kale juice and so on, that my body was reacting really strong. And I think it was because it was purging a lot of toxins into the bloodstream too fast. And it, you know, it, it was struggling to keep up. So thank you for making that point because I remember feeling almost like sick from the detox, almost like I was having a flu for a couple of weeks. Yes. But after that, of course, I felt amazing. But there was that rough patch period yeah yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is with the rough patch if you are like in a good you know you're in a good solid like mindset you're kind of feeling strong in your life you have a good job you have good relationships it's easy to to cover with that kind of <laughs> overwhelming but right. for for your guys for you guys watching you might not be there you know you mm-hmm. might have not that great relationships you might not feel that trusting in life maybe your job is also on the on the yeah. edge or you don't have a job, you can't work, you don't have energy, then this kind of might be too much, you know, yeah. just another thing on top. Thank you That's for mentioning I that. I think it's really important to, like, to, to forget about, oh my God, what other people are doing. I know I, I do that the same, you know, when I had like so strong allergies and I was just see all those people eat whatever they want and they feel great when I was in, in, in high school. And I was like, oh my God, I can't eat this. I shouldn't eat this. And I was preparing all my food and bringing all my food. And I, I felt so bad, you know, I felt like this mm-hmm. is unfair and why me and, and stuff. Um, yeah, this get, it doesn't get us anywhere. Mm-hmm. The thing, you know, mm-hmm. like tiny steps, tiny steps, tiny steps with a lot of love. No big. Mm-hmm. I'm all for up for let's go big, but stuff, but not in this case. Nah. Got it. Okay, so... Yeah, small, st- small steps that don't freak you out. That's why I created these tiny habits. Um, Great, let's get into them. I'm super yeah, excited. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, I would mention three, but even if you just do one of them, preferably the first one, um, it's going to work. Huh? So, and why I, why I did, did that so, t- so tiny is because they don't work if you just do them once. You've got to do them like at least for seven days and then you're going to assess. You can do them longer until you feel really, really good. They work the longer you do it. It's like compound effect. Mm-hmm. So consistency is key, yeah. So, 
consistency is key. Better mm -hmm. do like one for seven days than all three of them for one day. Okay. Okay. So number one, and this one is from, as I mentioned, from Medical Medium. I also put you the link um, in the document that I share if you want to get the book. He has a lot of cool books. Um, yeah, what the, one of my favorites is the one that I, that I put there as a link. It's called Sunset Medication. Not sunset meditation, but sunset medication. Uh -huh. And uh, it's super simple. It's super simple, but it's incredibly powerful. It's really like, this is one, the one healing tool when people come and they have trauma and they have um, a lot of like abuse. All, we all have different kinds of traumatic experience. For somebody, it's like, you know, it's like whatever traumatic means for you. And if you feel you have that, um, I've noticed that when working with clients, sometimes there comes this point, we did everything right. You know, we do all the diet, we do all, people are eating clean, people filling out the tracking protocol and they still, they come to an edge where they don't come, where they're just stuck in healing. They don't, yeah. they don't go any further. And that's when I like to use um, these, these kind of tools that are more working on the traumatic experience, if there's anything blocking. Okay. And that's the most powerful one that I haven't, I haven't have worked with any client who doesn't, where this doesn't work. Where they mm -hmm. say, oh, after seven days, it's just like, oh, it doesn't work. Okay. So tell us what it is. I can't wait. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm building medic. up the momentum. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're keeping me on the edge of my seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to do with the sun. Yeah? You've thought about it. Sunset meditation. Uh, medication. Okay. Because the sun is like, for us, it's much more than vitamin D. So when people think vitamin D, they often think, oh, I have to go to the sun or get my pill. But actually, the sun is like, this makes us survive. So when, when, we, when our um, skin is exposed to the sun, it's like every cell in our body is, is working faster, is working, is working better. You produce more, more healthy hormones. You, you regulate hormones better. Mm -hmm. So the, the sun really also like, when you just look at the sun, you know, or with your sunglasses, or you feel like, oh, happy holiday. Mm -hmm. Often you don't think of rain, you think of, you know, palm trees and sun. Yeah. And yeah, just cultures, you know, you go more to the tropics, people get happier. <laughs> That's why you moved there. <laughs> That's why I moved there. <laughs> I must say, I feel so happy being in California right now because I've spent so much time in Europe recently. And yeah, and the clouds and the winter can get to you. So absolutely, uh, sun has a huge effect on how we feel. Yes. So the, uh, the sunset medication is super easy. The way to do it, um, and I'll tell you why it works afterwards. The way to do it is, is first of all, you find out when is the next I mean, when is sunset in your city, in your place, um, then you set a timer in your phone five minutes before the timer should go off five minutes before the sunset sets. So, for mm -hmm. example, here in Panama, it's 636, the, the, the sunset today. So I, I put my phone on 630 mm -hmm. yeah, and then I'm ready. You know? mm -hmm. So when the time hits and your phone goes off, what you want to do, the best thing would be of course, optimal situation, you sit somewhere at the beach and watch the sunset. Perfect, yeah? Or you just stand mm -hmm. on your balcony or at your, at your, at your uh, window and you can see the sun going down for those five minutes. That would be the best situation. Um, if it's cloudy yeah, and it's raining, you still know where the sun goes down. So you basically you just go to the window and focus on the, in the direction where the sun goes down and you mm -hmm. imagine it behind the clouds. Mm -hmm. If you are at work, you know, you work in an office, you have a nighttime job, whatever, or your kids are, you are busy with family business, just take a five minute break. Yeah, you can call it a pee break, a cigarette break. C cigarette break, usually people allow you to do for whatever reason, not the sunset medication break. Yeah, isn't so, that strange? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit strange. So you have a cigarette break without the cigarette. And what you do is then, if you can't watch the sun directly, you, you just sit somewhere quiet or on the toilet, if it doesn't work at all, and you close your eyes. Mm. And all you do is like, now you have the option like to imagine like the best case scenario. So you imagine yourself, my best case scenario is sitting at the beach and watching over the horizon. And then you're just for, for those five minutes, three, two minutes, you, you imagine like the sun going down. Mm -hmm going down the golden lights and stuff coming and the redness just falling down into the into the ocean mm -hmm. and that's the thing and then and you're done and you just repeat that for seven days in a row and then you can reassess if you want to continue with that now 
this might sound like, okay, great. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a nice thing, you know, but here's why it works. You, gotta, you need to understand why it works to make it effective. It's not enough just to watch it. So why it works is for, for people who have abuse. This is a special, especially for uh, if you have a traumatic experience, which is related to other people, which almost all traumatic experiences are. True. Um, why it works is because when the, when the sun goes down, this, it's a feeling of, because it, it, it's like our, it's like our, um, our home, yeah, it's our energy. It's a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad. I noticed that actually before I knew that from Anthony Williams before, I knew that, I noticed that when I watch the sunset, I get a little bit melancholic. <laughs> Not mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. And that's the same thing, even, even if you don't realize it in that moment, because you have so many other emotions happening. But just watching the sunset, watching this natural cycle, it triggers something in you. It triggers this um, feeling of loss, but in a very, very gentle way, without trigger, re-triggering your trauma, just keeping you connected. Because mm -hmm. the, the, what I hear often from people is like, just focus on the positive. You know, mm -hmm. I love Anthony, uh, I love uh, Tony Robbins, you might know that. Where energy goes, focus, no, where focus, where focus goes, energy, energy flows. Yeah. I love, I love to say it's totally me, you know, but I, I don't have any, I, I cleared up this traumatic experience. So for somebody who is like in the midst of everything, just think positive. It's not going to help. It's no. not going to work. So yeah. that's why I like the sunset medication because it doesn't, you've got to reconnect to this, to this part who, which is hurt, which is sad, which doesn't trust anymore in life because you had this kind of, cut yeah or you were like hurt by other people um and this is going to re reinstall this trust because the sun will go down yeah and you watch it and you need to watch it and you need to to feel like the loss you know from the sun i think i know where you're going with this yeah and then of course task number two but you don't have to do it you know just doing the first one is great um exercise number two would be then in the morning either I mean, if you can wake up at sunset, great. If you don't, still fine. Your body will feel that, that the sun goes up again. Mm -hmm. You will feel this re-trust in life. And it just, it's just, it's an experience. It just, I can't, yeah. It's I, not, not logical or anything like that. Yeah. It's just, but, it's just mm -hmm. working. Yeah. Uh, this is beautiful. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm feeling so many so many things as you're describing this because I'm seeing the subtlety and the power of this experience because you know just like you said uh after being after after having gone through or being in the midst of a traumatic experience a lot of people feel disconnected they feel disconnected from themselves and they feel disconnected from their bodies and they feel disconnected from the universe from the larger home and writing that that grief in a sense that you know we experience on a very subtle maybe subconscious level together on the earth every day when we are saying goodbye to the sun whether we're aware of it or not it's that connects us to being part of this larger family of humans who are experiencing mm -hmm. loss at the same moment so yeah so i think that i think there's some really potent magic in it and also the hope of the next morning when you if you can wake up for the sunrise and and feel that too um you know what, what's really powerful in what you're saying is and i and i find that becoming more and more powerful in my own healing journey is that when we lose trust in people after having been betrayed on such a deep level and then i i tend to tell people okay no now it's all about focusing on yourself right like put yourself first, take care of yourself. Like sometimes that doesn't quite connect either because we're such empathic people and we love the feeling of being there for others and connecting with others. And if there's no other to connect to, because that now feels threatening, it's like, what do we do? And what we do is we connect to something higher, even higher than ourselves. If it's difficult to connect to ourselves because we're still not trusting ourselves either we can connect to the bigger forces in the universe whether it is you know the 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 solar system turning its wheels whether it is god whether it is higher principles that we live for i think that that is so incredibly powerful which is one of the reasons why actually the the program that i have on my website called unchained which helps people break trauma bonds begins with finding what your highest values are
and connecting to the principles that you want to stand for because ultimately that's the thing that builds integrity and what is going to get us back on our feet so i find like that what you just described in a very subtle but powerful way connects with the same concept we're part of something much bigger this universe has our back this experience is going to um bring us to a new place in our life a new chapter a new beginning and pretty much everyone i work for i work with if it's for an extended period of time through this trauma comes out of it saying oh my god this was a, such a powerful experience and having had the ability to heal from this has brought me to a much greater and deeper understanding of who i am who everyone else is see like understanding the darkness right? Mm -hmm. It's like, makes me understand so much better the beauty of this world and the goodness. And so it's, it's always a transformative event. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, uh, totally. I could listen to you for hours. Yes, I'm just <laughs> nodding, you know, like, yes, totally. Like, I love this. Like, that's what I also tell people if they have like so much, like so much going on. I just had a, I had a one-on-one -on -one client and she has like four kids and a husband and had like so many operations and so so much stuff going on. I, you know, I was like, oh my God, you know, we have to move super gentle. Yeah. And, and, and with her, like it, the one thing I said to her was like, you know, the more darkness there is, the more the light, you know, the more light you can create at the end, you know, you, you will, you will be so much brighter than everybody who didn't go through this. It's like, it makes you superpower strong if you, if you go through this it's yeah and yeah and it's like the appreciation for life and for this energy can be amazing the same with me you know if i had never had those like big allergies those traumatic experience i wouldn't be here today like being able to help other people or even wanting even connecting yeah. to that um so i like yeah the pain is like there's beauty in this pain even if it doesn't feel like there it. is and we don't need to run away from it. In fact, like yesterday, actually, um, coincidentally, my, my, I found out that my, the last grandmother that I have passed away yesterday. And mm -hmm. it happened to be a, kind of a quiet day for me. My friends um, with whom I'm staying here in California were away. And I just, I just disconnected and I sat with it. And I was just like, oh, my God, I need to communicate this to my audience, to my people, because... I feel like there's so much power in just sitting with your grief and your loss and allowing it to wash through you. That's so empowering and so healing because we tend to, again, we run away from pain, but it's actually by feeling the pain that we can heal. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So the, the first one was the sunset medication. And the second one is what I call like morning sun bath. I'm just going to tap on that shortly because it's going to be in the action plan. And that would be, you don't have to rise at sunrise, you know, even if you're just after waking up, whatever time it is, um, like taking one to two minutes, stepping outside. And what I like is, or just to the window, even if it's rainy, you know, you will still feel like the direction of the sun, even if it's cloudy and winter and worst case scenario, just get, get your face out. So it touches the air yeah. and then close your eyes. And imagine like the sun, the sun rays are coming through into your eyes and they're, they're basically like touching, coming in through the eyes. And then from the inside out, like the, the sun ray is inside, it touches like all the cells in your body. Mm -hmm. You know, it, that's what it does anyway. It like, it vitalizes all the cells. It, it creates light from inside. So you're basically you're like a, you're like a light bulb, like lightening up from the inside. No, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just super easy. Like it's one to two minutes. And after that, if you still want to do more, you know, like the first exercise is obligatory if you want to do that protocol and the, the second two are optional. Um, and after, so then you, you take a deep breath and you open your eyes. And then the third one is, um, this is, this is a beautiful thing as well. It's, it's called creating new experiences. Mm, oh, I, I love like, that. I love that. Yeah, I already yeah. love it. Yeah, because it's so powerful and overriding the traumatic memories. Well, go ahead. Yes, that's yes. it. That's exactly it. Because um, for the brain, whenever we have an experience, it creates a neurological pathway. So the more we tr the more we re-experience this trauma, the bigger the, it gets from a, like a little path coming up to a highway. Yeah. You know, and when you have this highway in your head, there is no way that you come with a with a tool and just smash down the highway. It's not how our brain works. Our brain works is 
taking the energy from, from the highway, from the pathological highway, to creating a new highway. Yeah, we're going to start with a path. Yeah, we're going to do the sunset medication as a path. And then for the third exercise, it's, um, it's again, you sit down, you close your eyes, just a second. And then you ask yourself, what can I do today that really makes me happy? You know, that makes me happy that, and that lets me feel like kindness with myself. Yeah. Like a tiny thing. We are not talking about like planning a vacation and going to Thailand. You can do that, of course. You can do that too, of course. Yeah. Of course. But I'm talking about like a 10 minute action that you can do like this very day when you plan it mm -hmm. for the next seven days. And that can be anything, anything that makes you happy. Making a drawing, calling up a friend, um, listening to a song or do a taking sketch a of a tree, shower. taking a hot shower, taking a bubble bath. The mm -hmm. only thing, once you decided that, I want to invite you, I actually had a post-it prepared, but I don't have one. I invite you to take a post-it, yeah, like this post-it thing with a pen, write down the action, yeah, write down the self-care new experience that you want to create for 10 minutes max. It's not going to be, can't be longer than 10 minutes. It really needs to be something that fits into, even if you have a busy schedule, 10 minutes. Uh, you write it down. And then, and this is important, you decide on the time when you do it. It's not enough afternoon, nah, not enough. I want to know like, um, for example, after lunch around 1.30 p.m. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a concrete time because afternoon, you know, what's afternoon? And then it's afternoon and it's not, it's not, it doesn't happen. And then you have two options after you wrote that down. You either carry that post-it around with you until you did the action. Oh, that's cool. I mean, like putting in your like wallet. You can, in, I was going to say put in your shoulder. Like, okay, I need to get rid of this thing. Yeah, so let's get it done. Right now, put it on the, on the, <laughs> the screen here on the edge. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the commitment. Or you take out your phone and you put a reminder. Yes. You know, like when you want to do it. Um, and then yeah. that for seven days again. You know, like seven days and you can reassess. And what, what I will do for you exactly is that this kind of tiny steps for pleasing yourself in a, in a loving way. That, that's going to change things because it's not enough if we do therapy and you watch those YouTube videos. Thank you so much for watching. However, it's, it's great. It starts, it starts the positive, but it's not enough because it needs to be real. It needs to be a real experience. The trauma was Action. a real experience for you. So what you want to do is you create another real experience. You didn't read about the trauma. You had an experience. So we're going to, you know, like it's the same with the bacteria in the body. It doesn't, when people are come to me, oh, I want to kill the bad bacteria or not kill it. And I tell you, you don't, you, bacteria is life. You have a lot of bacteria in your body. You don't kill bad bacteria. That's not how it works. You engage, you get like people to help you, uh, not people, like you get bacteria to help you and you offer the body, you support the good bacteria. So you put more, more good bacteria and they work against the bad, bad, bad bacteria. Exactly. So you don't have to do the work. You, you, you just, solicit a lot of help, actually. It's like you build momentum. I feel like with, this, with these little um, small actions, you leave an imprint on, on the day before when you did it. You wake up the next morning and you're like, oh my God, I remember it felt so good to do this. I want to do this again. And then it gets bigger and bigger and it builds momentum. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Same with celery juice. Like most people hate celery juice in the beginning, especially if they ate like a different diet and the microbiome is uh, polarized in a certain way. And then I get like, after seven, five days, whatever, people come like, oh, actually, I need my celery juice. I need to travel. I hate that because I want my celery juice. <laughs> like, see? Uh, so definitely. That's right. Yeah. So and those are the three things. And they're going to be in the, in the protocol. So sunset medication. Mm -hmm. And the second one was the sun, uh, the morning sun bath. And then we have creating new habits and creating new experiences. That's beautiful. And I think they're very doable. So, yeah, so get started on it as soon as you can. I remember when I was coming out of my own, still walking through my own dark night of the soul, that was something that I was leaning on sort of, you know, without, without having spoken to you prior, but it was almost something as if like my, my body's intelligence was telling me, do something different, do something nice for yourself so you can begin to shift the dial. And as I was describing it in my earlier videos, it was kind of like 99% darkness, 1% light. And then a week later it was 97% darkness, 3% light. And then the ratios begin to change naturally on their own. Yeah. And you start to see more sunshine and less clouds. Very good.
And in yeah. the beginning, it's going to be hard, like, you know, like getting mm-hmm. up there and doing dancing. You know, if I feel depressed, I don't want to dance. Or I don't want to draw or anything. It's going I'm to so be glad like, you mentioned this because dancing is so therapeutic. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. But even that, you know, if you feel like crap, then dancing might be like, oh, God. But even, if you if you just do, even if you just do this and breathe a couple of times just to kind of release the stuck energy from the shoulders and from the neck, that could be helpful too. So the mm-hmm. smallest thing you can do, go for it. If you feel the impulse, just do it. Just do it now as you're watching this. Do it now. And it's going to get easier and easier the more often you do it. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm getting the sense that there is a theme running through, especially this nutrition uh, portion of our video. And I think, you know, we, we, we kind of like vibe on a similar level. I feel we have so much in common. We could talk for hours. And there is this, uh, this underlying thing that keeps coming up for me, and that's the color green, right? And it's like... <laughs> And the plants, right? The healing power of plants and, and the green representing magnesium, the calming chemical mm. that also helps us to get back in our bodies and feel a little bit more comfortable and maybe not so much like we need to be running away from the pain. Is there anything you can say about that, um, Peggy? Yes. I, I actually, it's so funny because I prepared this action plan yesterday. And all the healing foods I made like in capitals in green. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> and I have a lot of green, like, um, like a photo or collage down there. It's also mainly green. So it's kind oh. of funny that you said, I was like, can she actually see my screen? Um, no, but yeah. <laughs> like intuitively. Amazing. So um, there are a few things I, I can recommend to do. Actually four different ones let's start with the one um, that is a great uh, alternative for celery juice and that is cucumber juice oh. because it's it's a fruit cucumber is not a vegetable it's a fruit and it contains a little bit of glucose yeah healthy fruit sugar and it's much more gentle for like the detoxing and especially for people who have um, an issue with an inflamed nervous system which you have if you have a traumatic experience that comes up again and again you want to have something that cools down the nervous system and cucumber is the best uh, vegetable fruit on planet earth to do that um so to get started i recommend to do like cucumber juice if you have a juicer you choose two cucumbers in the morning first thing after you wake up so it's toilet break and then it's up go to the juicer fresh so you don't want to store it in the fridge you drink it you, you juice it and then you drink it immediately fresh um, that's one thing. If you don't have a juicer or it's kind of too complicated, you don't have the energy, you can also just eat one cucumber as it is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's also fine. Completely. Or you're traveling. I don't always travel with my juicer. Um, so eating one cucumber um, to also help like your, your digestive system. It's going to be so, so, so gentle. Your liver starts detoxing, but in a, in a more soft way than with the celery juice. It's and it's hydrating point. too, isn't it? Because it su- has such high water content. It's, it's the best hydration ever. People often mm. say, oh, I need to drink more water because I'm so thirsty. I also have a video on that. It's not that. If you just drink, even if, even if it's the best, like, best water filtered water, it's still not the same as if it's a living, living food water. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why often I recommend people, if they drink water, put a few drops of lemon juice in there or drink cucumber juice because this this water is actually getting into the cells because it's connected with minerals and vitamins which often the 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 tap water definitely not is there's just fluoride in there which kills your microbiome mm-hmm. so, um that's the best yeah it's the best hydration you're definitely good for that and awesome. it's healing. Oh. very healing that's mm-hmm. right yeah so, so, second one is fruits what a surprise um Fruits. So I know there is like this paleo diet and keto diet and don't eat fruits and don't eat sugar and stuff. Um, but if you, I mean, if you have any chronic I- issues, especially if you have an impaired uh, adrenal system, yeah, which you have your adrenal feed a lot, a lot of healthy, healthy fruit, glu- fruit glucose uh, mix, yeah, which you get from fruits. We're not talking about corn syrup or um, any kind of processed sugar or muffins or anything like that. That's not it. That's kind of more destructive but fruits they, they are the perfect healing food for anybody who struggles from especially like these impaired organs that i just mentioned because you need those the, the glucose to cool down the nervous system and to help to, to rebuild the storages in the in the liver and there's mm-hmm. like a like a glycogen 
storage in the liver which needs to be built and with more toxicity this gets um, depleted so okay. and for the adrenals of course this is such a big topic so what to do yeah. is like um after you did the cucumber juice you wait like 20 minutes 15 minutes unless you uh, un, un, until you feel like okay it's kind of digested digest super quick because it doesn't have any fiber and you're going to do like three to five pieces of fruit and I usually recommend, because it's easier to be absorbed by the body, to just use one type of fruit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So for example, on Monday, you have like three apples. On Tuesday, you have like, I don't know, a cup of a big cup of raspberries or anything like that. Um, but not, not to mix it in the beginning, because you often, often people have like this kind of issues that we discussed before with a very poor health. You also have a poor digestion. And the best thing, therefore, is uh, mono meals. Now, mm -hmm. one, of one type of food makes it easier for every for um, the the gut and also for the stomach to di to absorb that and to get also those nutrients and minerals out into your system so you can so you can heal. And so fruits three to five um, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then you can have your usual breakfast. I usually recommend, as you said, uh, to go like to avoid the the trigger foods. Um, but hey, you start where you are. If you just do the cucumber juice, you already feel a difference. You know, mm -hmm. even if keep on eating the bad, the bad stuff. Um, if you want to, if you want to look into what's the bad stuff and want to know more about that, I have a playlist called, um, like biggest mistakes, something like that. Um, and there I talk about like, why is dairy bad? It's probably one that you watched as well. Why is dairy bad? Why shouldn't I eat eggs? Stuff yeah. like that. Um, right. So number one, cucumber shoes. Number two is fruits, three to mm -hmm. five in the morning. And then as you mentioned is greens. You know, leafy greens, leafy greens, um, they will fuel your body with nutrients. And what they also do is they alkalize the whole body. So if an alkalized body doesn't have cancer, an alkalized body doesn't have inflammation because it doesn't have a basis, you know, like inflammation and this acid, acidity in the body is the perfect uh, environment for pathogens and um, like Epstein-Barr or strep virus, uh, strep bacteria to thrive. So the more alkaline you make it, not, not only do you get like a boost of minerals and vitamins in, but you also, you, you lower the inflammation, you make everything like you get more energy, you get this light from those plants, you know, that's probably what you experienced when you said like, oh, I did this raw food and I felt so good. That's just, this, this, the, you know, yeah. the light energy which is in these living foods. You, so you, know, what, you know what else happened, which is kind of interesting, is that I felt my mind was changing, my thinking changed, my perception changed, which is what I did immediately when I was going through my uh, fallout, when the nuclear bomb went off in my life, you know, and I was um, picking up the pieces after my traumatic relationship. And I didn't, I didn't feel like eating, you know, my appetite was completely gone. And I, my, my mind immediately went to that time. I was like, when, when was it that I felt the best in my life? That's when I felt the best in my life. So I thought, you know, because I, I have such low appetite, why don't I just eat the things that are the most nutritious for me? And I noticed after a few days of eating a lot of green foods, it's as if my mind was starting to think differently. There was still a lot of darkness. There was still a lot of doubt, a lot of heaviness, a lot of repeating of the trauma in my head. But there were these spaces that were starting to show up where I would almost like, this was like enlightened thinking. Like I felt like it wasn't even mine. It was as if almost the plants were taking up residence in my body and were whispering these wise things to me. Like, are you doing the right thing or do this? It's as, as if there was another being that was sort of sprouting, literally sprouting inside me and helping me through this process. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, I'm totally into, like, I'm totally um, the same with the spiritual part of it. Like, yeah. for example, I was in, when I lived in this intentional community in Scotland, um, where also a lot of my healing happened, um, I was eating a lot of, like, just growing the food and eating the food, you know, like, at the mm -hmm. same tomato straight from there. And I felt there was so much peace, you know, I felt also, like I could like communicate with animals much easier than that I ever could before when I was eating animal products. I, mm -hmm. I felt more aggressive when I eat more sugar. I felt more like eh, on the edge, and then I just felt like so chilled out, you know, like right. yeah, totally. And of course, yeah, that, that's that's what I mean. Like we're we're coming from both sides, you know. We are working on the um, we're working on healing the trauma from a relationship perspective, but then you can also assist the whole process in coming from the food perspective. Right, you know, like helping the, the 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 brain to have less inflammation. That's why you have this 
Yeah, as and you said, my knees need to be yeah, and they start to feed on each other. So the the bet and, and then and the, the the better the diet, the more calm you're going to feel, and the more calm you're going to, going to feel, the better choices you're going to make. And then the the less inflamed you will be, the more you're going to crave. Like I remember, I was starting to crave stretching because in the beginning I was just in bed in my pajamas, curled mm -hmm. up. I was like this, you know, just like my body was just just turned into a ball. And then I was like starting to feel a little bit like, oh, maybe it's time to open a little bit and stretch. And then I would have those, you know, few minutes of feeling good until the thought came. And then I plunged right back down, of course. Yeah. That was starting to like the, 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 the dial was shifting. The ratio was changing. There was more of this as the energy was coming up. There were more of these opportunities to go outside and be in nature. Again, make better food choices, take my backpack with me go in to the grocery store and pick up some more green foods and so on. So slowly I was like coming out of that hole. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So it's greens, like greens is would be great. Like one big salad a day, mm -hmm. like my minimum, you know, apart from the cucumber juice, like that's on top. Um, yeah. Another thing and the fourth thing, so we have cucumber juice, fruits, leafy greens as much as you can, like the raw, the, raw, the better. If you can't digest them raw, make a soup, still going to help. Um, mm -hmm. And then the fourth thing is sprouts. I've got, yeah. sprouts are amazing because they are like, they have like this kind of new beginning and they're so alive. They are, they're the best thing if you want to, if you think about probiotics and you want to, you want to um, rebuild your microbiome, your damaged gut through all the medication and through the poor um, diet choices and toxins that you get from outside. The stress. Yeah. Alfalfa sprouts. It's gonna be it you know okay. like one it's very I, um, cheap too it's super cheap it's super cheap you grow them yourself you also have mm -hmm. like a healing experience while growing them you care for them something outside you know you have like a cycle as well some routine and uh, one cup of sprouts per day is perfect no that's kind of very good you know there's one more thing that came to me when you were mentioning this diet as i'm envisioning it right envisioning doing it and then there is another really great side effect that you get Besides being mineralized and hydrated, feeling more calm, you're going to have much better elimination. And I think that, you know, it, there's something really profound that happens when you feel all of that heaviness leave you, <laughs> right? Um, and, and I feel like, you know, with the fiber and as it's moving through you, it's like almost scraping the old stuff and yes. cleansing your body from the, the trauma that's literally like stuck on the walls of your gut and in your cells. And it's helping to move it out because the tendency is to want to eat a lot of carbs when you're feeling depressed because it's, you know, it produces serotonin. So it's like, that's why we reach for sweets. And I'm definitely one of those people who's very much prone to doing that. But the problem with that, especially if you're eating breads, you know, rice cakes, which was something that I was craving. Peanut uh, butter, nice and fatty on top. Fat fatty, and fat, comforting right? Fat is comforting. And then, um, you know, the, the serotonin produ production, the, the quick high that we get, the quick spike that we get from the, from the carbs, that's going to stick to you. And it's almost as if like, you know, the trauma that is um, the emotions, the emotional trauma that's in your body is going to like get almost as if connected to that food. And be, that's how I kind of see it. I don't know if that's how it happens. You're the naturopath. But to me, like that's the sensation. It's like it's, it just sticks in me. And then if I do it all the time, it's like I, I feel like I'm made out of clay and this thing's just sitting in me. It's more difficult to process it. But if I'm eating these light foods, filled with life force energy and um and a lot of fiber it's just moving through me and it's like this trauma is unsticking it's ungluing it's falling away and this new body is sprouting this this vital health and i was i listened to uh, elizabeth gilbert's um interview the other day like two days ago and she was talking about depression i want to bring this up because it was so beautiful what she said she's like the opposite of depression is not happiness the opposite of depression is vitality and isn't that true? It's like, if we want to process our depression and move out of it, let's get vital. And by eating vital foods, breathing deeply and opening back into life and watching the sunsets and being there for the sunrise and doing your things, taking control of how our neural pathways are being built, right? really engaging with our life, with our bodies. That's how we invite vitality. And that's how I believe we can overcome depression naturally. Totally. I mean, I'm so resonating with this feeling that you described that you have like this stuck 
that the, the trauma is stuck in the gut. Absolutely. And it's kind of literally stuck in the gut. So um, the great thing is about the, for example, the cucumber juice, because it hydrates the, also the inside of the gut, um, is that you will be able to bring out all this, all this stuck mucus and everything that is kind of all the food that is like per- purchasing on the, on the cell walls. Yes. Because that's the, the thing is with the whole digestion. So if people eat like poor, poorly and you're mineral deficient you're also often um, dehydrated this stuck to it and then it starts like producing um, bacteria bad bacteria you know that try to digest this these uh, stuck food particles and this creates a gas called ammonia mm-hmm. basically when you walk into a pigsty and you have this stinging this stinging smell this is ammonia and this is a gas this is behind all this leaky gut yeah so uh-huh. we have like this leaky gut and i think like oh the, the mesh is getting bigger it's if the mesh is really getting bigger, you have a peritone, peritonitis and you have like an emergency case, you know? Mm-hmm. But what's actually happening is that there's this gas that is produced. This can penetrate the cell walls, you know, ammonia. And it's highly, highly toxic for your nervous system, for everything. It can travel to your brain. It can re- create more inflammation. So as you, as you said, with like moving out those constip- constipation and also those um, foods that are stuck there for days sometimes weeks you know they have people walking around there often people have a lot of overweight as well but doesn't have to be it and could be like the protruding gut right uh, the, the big stomach yeah it's just mm-hmm. oh my god you know this is this is creating anxiety too there are yes. people who don't have any they don't have any traumatic experience but they have anxiety just popping up like that you know and then you eat like certain foods you you start like including more greens celery juice um, lemon water bringing this out and anxiety is gone you know and then you go with your psycho- uh, psychologist mm-hmm. and they're like hmm, really <laughs> <laughs> what did um, you do right yeah that is do? so valuable what you're saying i hope you guys are getting a lot out of this i'm getting a lot out of this i feel myself like taking my own health and my nutrition to the next level after this conversation so inspiring oh, thank you no really thank you so i have one more thing that i love to share with you um before coming to that, one thing that I put in the document as well, um, which you can download below, is a, a playlist. So um, if you if you if you want to have like more information about what should I eat, like what mistakes to avoid, what's kind of pruned for for your case, like for uh, being a survivor of a traumatic relationship, having a lot of um, trauma in your life, then you can have a look at this um, playlist. And I've got like my best videos because I have 210 videos right now. I didn't want to just just watch these, you know, I, mean, yeah. I, I found like eight or so that I think might be a good start. You can also find it in a document in the, in the bottom. And now um, the last thing I'd love to share with you is if you want to speed up your process, I usually don't recommend to take so many supplements, especially not just like just magnesium and just this and this, um, because often it contains so much fillers, it contains so much toxins. There are not many high quality supplements like isolated vitamins or minerals out there that your body can actually absorb because this is not this is important to understand i always prefer like whole foods always because they come in the perfect mix they are made for our body the other things it's the same with antibiotics they are made by men yes you know, they are not they, of course they are better than antibiotics but they are still man-made they are not like in tune for our body our body doesn't really understand them um so however there are a few things that are very difficult to uh, get through nutrition um, and that help like heal the nervous system, heal um, the, the gut flora, yeah, all of that. I'm going to get into that in a bit. And, and those ones, but they are high quality. They are often, they are, um, have a, almost 100% bio, bioavailability for the word. So your body can actually absorb them and they are clean. So clean supplements, they are so rare. They shouldn't contain alcohol. They shouldn't contain any fillers. Um, there shouldn't be GMO, of course, and there should be from a source that you know, like a brand that really does like a good work in the world and it actually creates more value for people and it's not just after money, you know, making, making fast money. Um, so magnesium supplements are great if it's a magnesium uh, theranite, but the, yeah, that's, a, that's the one I always recommend. I also have that on the shop. Um, but if you eat a lot of greens, you're going to get that. You know, if you eat sprouts, it's in there. If you eat um, leafy greens a lot, you're going to get there. So I didn't mention that. One thing, however, that is really, really key for gut healing, for detoxing, 
and also for um, helping the immune system to rebuild is uh, zinc. Mm -hmm. And that's very hard to get right now. We are all about, oh, we need vitamin D and we have iron deficiency. Yes, we have an iron deficiency. Most of the people have an iron deficiency. But the number one thing that we are deficient is zinc. It's zinc and then it's iron. They are both um, heavy metals, but healthy heavy metals. The thing about, this is interesting maybe, um, that often people don't know. The body has, every, every um, mineral has a certain chemical structure. Now, zinc has a very similar structure to toxic heavy metals. So when the body is in need for zinc, because we don't have enough zinc, it's much more likely to absorb toxic heavy metals from our environment. Mercury, for example. Yeah. So the more you, you zinc up yourself, the more you also protect yourself from being vulnerable to exposure to toxic heavy metals, even if you still keep taking um, like psychopharmaca and stuff like that. So you wanna, what you want to get is like a liquid zinc sulfate, yeah, which I described has these criteria. I'm, very, I'm super specific. There's one brand and I'm going to link that everything for you in this action plan mm -hmm. and also how to take it. And it's important for like immune support, detoxing and your, your gut healing. The, the second one, so liquid zinc sulfate, the second one is B12. Mm -hmm. um, and B12, there's such a discussion, you know, like I see, I, <laughs> you don't know how often I get like comments from our gut feeler community and then, oh, can you check this supplement? Can you check this up? I almost don't have to check any supplements because it's just bullshit. You know, there's so, so tiny much of good su supplements. Mostly you can't buy them in stores anywhere, even mm -hmm. if organic stores, they're just... It's just mm -hmm. not what you need. It's like stuff. And so the one that I recommend from uh, B12, it's also, um, I also got this tip from Anthony William. It's a combination of um, adenosyl and methylcobalamin. So B12 means cobalamin. Mm -hmm. And there are two different types. I mean, uh, uh, actually five different types of uh, B12. Uh, but the one that almost is in, in anything is adenosyl cobalamin. And this is going to help your nervous system. This is key. So you want to make sure that this is in the B12 supplement, adenosyl cobalamin and methyl cobalamin. Okay. That's, that's Great. really important. And all of that is in the, in the sheet that, that you that produced for us. Link and it Perfect. Goes like super like I'm, yeah. Yeah. Got you prepared. And yes. the two, two last ones just mentioning shortly is um, barley grass juice powder, long word. This is kind of a super powerful microgreen and it needs to be the juice powder, not just barley grass powder you know it's, it's basically the juice of those little barley greens it's gluten-free it doesn't contain any gluten it's just mm -hmm. a green part and this is the the super power boost for alkaline in your body oh, like, fantastic it's, it's so and it's like it creates this light so yeah I, um, when, when I took this because I always try like the supplements before I recommend them to anybody when I took this I was like oh my god you know I'm already I can yeah, I, I can see auras and stuff like that, but this is where I was like, it was like exploding my, my vision. I was like, oh God, <laughs> get to the of my, it's so light. It has so much light in it. It's beautiful. That's wonderful. Okay, so barley juice powder. Barley grass juice powder. Barley, yes. barley grass juice Organic powder. Fantastic. Okay, great. Juice. Again, it's linked there. Mm -hmm. And one to three great. tablespoons, uh, teaspoons per day. Okay. And the, the fourth one is a tea, and it's lemon balm tea. Mm. Oh, I love. and yeah and in the evening before you go to bed because it this is this is the best self-love tea you can give yourself it's mm -hmm. you also give it it relaxes the nervous system and helps you better sleep it also was like given to children who have a lot of anxiety who are scared in the dark and who, who just who, you know who want to always live the light on and stuff like that and creates like this blanket of of, of kindness this is mm -hmm. like the the one word that I associate with it, like a lemon balm tea has for me like something with kindness. It also oh, tastes amazing. Yeah, a, it healing tea, a healing tea that also tastes amazing. Very <laughs> rare. But <laughs> yes, it does. It does. But it's, it's also called Melissa, right? Um, yes, Melissa, Melissa Great. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. These are such fantastic recommendations, Peggy. I am really, really grateful for having you here and sharing your knowledge with us. That is very, very valuable. I, I wish I had this when I was going through my own dark night of the soul, because I feel like it would have helped me even recover faster. But, mm -hmm. um, but I hope you, you all enjoy this. And I want to encourage you to check out Peggy's channel, Gut Feelings. It is an incredible resource for healing, for nutrition, for information, just for empowering yourself with more knowledge so, so that you can make better decisions for yourself. 
So Peggy, thank you so much again for, for connecting with me and, uh, and answering all those questions and preparing this, this worksheet for everyone. So it's going to be linked down below as well as the links to Peggy's website and her, her videos, her Great. playlists. Yeah. Oh, it was so lovely talking with you, Eva. I feel like we are so vibing, you know, we are so on the same vibe. It's so nice. It's so rare as well. Like, I don't, um, I think you're the second uh, YouTuber I'm collaborating with, uh, where oh. I really felt like a resonance, you know, I felt like, oh. yes, this is somebody I want to work with, you know. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Yeah, I got that Im instant hit when I was watching. I was, I was literally in bed, all stuffed up. And I was like, I need to talk to this girl. I need to bring her information to my audience because it's real. It's real, guys. It's, it really works. So, so thank you so much again. And maybe next time we'll do another collaboration in the future. So Yeah, let's hear what the audience says, what they want. Yeah. Yeah, please let us know. Let us know if you have what questions you have, what else you'd like. Yeah, write okay. it down below. Comment yes. below. Um, what, what kind of videos would you like to, us to make again? Um, and what are some of the, your own recommendations that maybe things you've tried that really work well for you that we haven't addressed in this video? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the interview, Eva. It was beautiful. Thank you. Lots of love to you and to everyone watching. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>